guys well i'm back doing another video here and i really didn't expect it to be on fallout 4 now this game has been out long enough for me to literally complete it completely on the xbox one and all the dlc like a lot of you guys i'm sure have um but you know loving the fallout series and particularly i do like fallout 4 a bit of criticism from others but uh, you know i loved it bought it on all three formats and uh today i'm revisiting the pc version because it's had this uh, hd texture pack uh, made available so i thought right, well, well, we'll bang it on have a look at the pack and uh convert it you know into this hd version we'll just point out that the uh, specs for for this hd pack they recommend a gtx 1080 <laughs> 8 gigabyte card no that's just bethesda being bethesda uh, basically i've seen it run sort of well, about five and a half that's about the highest i've seen it run memory wise i'm actually running a four meg card here it's uh sorry a four gig card here it's 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 fine you know it's uh running everything that ultra i think all i've turned down is god raised to medium because they're always a bit weird and glitchy anyway uh that's it other than that nothing else is turned down everything is, is set to ultra as you'll see later on now i am going to show you also how to disable the texture pack because as you're probably wondering, there is no option to disable it once it's installed. So there, there is a way of doing it. You can turn it turn it off. You can't do it in-game, sadly. You've got to come out of game to do it. But uh, yeah, it is possible. I'll be putting some, some stuff up uh, from you know the normal versions. A bit of PlayStation footage. Got it sat behind me there on the PlayStation. Ready to go. Take a bit of footage of that. Pretty much the same as the Xbox, as you know. And uh, you'll be able to compare this HD pack to the normal packs. It's not a game changer, you know, you're not going to instantly put this pack, pack on and go, wow, oh my god. You know, it it is good, but within its limits. I mean, you've got to actually look at stuff before you... I mean, when I first put it on, I thought, actually, is this on? Is it working? But it is working. You, if you look at little things like, you know, smoothed out curbs and stuff, trees, where's a tree? I'm going to look at some tree bark. You know, you see on the tree bark quite well that, yeah, it's more detailed. Not vastly, but, you know, you get near it there, and it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I mean, they're still running a very janky old-fashioned engine in this game, and, uh, you know, that's going to drag it down no matter what they do to it. Um, on the PC version, I've not even, as you can see, completed the game. You know, I've, uh, I've got it all, and... Then it took that many hours to complete it on Xbox, so I haven't actually got around to completing it again on PC, so uh, I'm still in the middle of it all. I can zoom around a few places of the map and uh, visit Diamond City and stuff to show you that. But um, yeah, it is fresh, which is a bit better. Still no ultra-wide support on the game. Nice one, Bethesda. I don't know when that's going to happen. I mean, there is a couple of mods out there to do 21x9. Uh, not quite right, though, from... From seeing them, uh, you know, on somebody I know's monitor that's running 21 by 9 it, it won't quite right. <laughs> I'm still yet to do the, the jumps 21 by 9 myself. Look at this, load the texture in anytime now, tomorrow. Come on, there. <laughs> this is on a 7 200 speed drive. I mean, if that's loading it off the drive, yeah, I, I'm going to try it on an SSD and see if it improves things a little bit. Um, car rust is meant to be something that we've worked a bit on. Shall we have a quick look? Yeah, they have. They have car wheels apparently as well. There's quite a bit, you know, they're meant to have tackled pretty much everything. Um, whether that's true or not, I don't know. It's, the trouble is, it's been a while since the game came out, and uh, that makes you forget a lot. You know, I've certainly forgot what's what's improved on it and what hasn't. It's a funny engine because sometimes it's not a bad looking game at all. You know, you you look over the the uh, burnt out cities and stuff, and it's like, yeah, it looks quite nice. You know, good effects, but it's still janky. Maybe the next one will be improved, and, uh, and hey, maybe they'll add co-op so your companion can be another player. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Run around as dog meat or something. Actually, I don't think I've even befriended dog meat yet. Where, where am I? Let's have a see. Oh, no. I've uncovered hardly anything. 
Now, for saying I've got all the DLC, have I even... No, I haven't actually unlocked any of it. What about Far Harbor? Let's have a quick look. No. 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 Far Harbor, yes I have. Right. I haven't done Nuka on this particular one. Right. Something to get round to when hours and time allow. Um, yeah, let's fast travel to Diamond City. Have a quick look at Diamond City. It's a very cluttered place, so uh, we shall see. We've arrived at Diamond City. And uh, I will just quickly move my on-screen display so you can actually see it. <laughs> Hiding away behind yeah, the camera, camera out the way. Okay, so look at the uh, usage we got going on there. GPU 47% standing still. Um, normal memory, yeah, no problem there. Three and a half used at the moment. Okay, still within. Now, at three and a half being used, obviously, you guys with the GTX 970, it's going to start causing you problems because obviously, the uh, as you're probably aware, the memory is split. The last 500 being a lot slower memory, it's going to stutter and jump quite a lot. So, you might want to turn a few things down. A bit clicky. Huh? It's the FPS up. About 40, 50, yes. all over the place. That's your typical bethesda though, isn't it? Uh, the textures are certainly taking a while to load in. Didn't like me quickly changing direction then. It's hard to remember what is, you know, non Bethesda problems and what is now being caused by the texture pack definitely see an improvement materials yep. look at some npc pace faces there's a character mm. and just say yes it's all he understands yeah. Uh, Come here. Hi. Hey. What can I do? Yeah. There is an improvement. Like I say, it's not a, a massive step. You know, it is just a texture pack. But it is there. Definitely. It is there. Okay. I'll switch over to some uh, normal, non-HD footage. Uh, I'll stick some PS4 footage on next and we'll uh, see what that looks like in comparison. And then I'll go over quickly how to switch this HD pack off on PC. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll flip over and have a look. So by now, you're possibly thinking, yeah, it's a bit underwhelming, not too forced, it's taking up too many resources, I want to just switch it off. Like I mentioned earlier, you can't do that in the game. This is how to simply switch it off. Don't get me wrong, you've still got the massive amount sat on your hard drive, but it will just switch it off for you. Just, uh, you know, in Steam, 
go to your local files yeah fallout 4 there steam apps common fallout 4 and um go to no hang on a minute i'll get it right myself cracky go to data once you're in there and go all the way down here to dlc ultra high resolution esm now all you have to do to disable it is right click rename it all i'm going to do is add something on the end of it yeah so we'll just go Ooh. No. Yeah. Yes, I'm no. <laughs> yes. And that would basically disable that file completely. Uh, you will then load the game, which we shall do. Well, we're back with now. the non HD pack here. And uh, frankly, I don't think it's worth it. If you guys have got data caps and stuff, 60 gigabyte download is huge. It's not something I'm, I, you know, I have in this country, but it is a, a common thing isn't it still so no and also the fact filling up your hard drive sitting there the game's still running an ultra that's that's good enough for me the stuttering when it loads the textures in you're gonna need it sat on an ssd and this engine isn't good enough for that to be fair also uh sometimes using five and a half gigabytes of vram if you're using a gtx 970 you've got your three and a half that's good yeah, it's gonna it's gonna stutter horrendously, and uh, it's not really worth it. Don't bother, is my opinion. If you disagree, or you've got an opinion on anything, or you agree with anything, just leave a, a comment in the section below on the comment section. If this video was any help, please click like, and I do do daily videos if possible, so uh, think about subscribing. Thanks for your time, and I'll see you all again. Goodbye.